Okay, so the second question was um, all about drawing your activity network based on the precedence table here. Uh, before I do, I'd like to give a shout out to one of the students in my class who is looking for a job. So if anyone um, wants to employ a 17 year old who's rather good at maths and is reasonably hard working, no, very hard working, and then leave me a comment somewhere, I guess. Okay, thank you. Now, the next, uh, okay, so this presence table. We start off with an event. And then we can see that A and B don't need um, to be perceived by anything, so they can just start from here. So A and B start here. And then starting from A, we've got C and D. And then from, so that's that one done, that one done, that one done, that one done. Now E is right on B finishing, so. E and in fact, let's do it down here a little bit. So there, then we've got E and F coming off here, and we're going to put some arrows on there as well. So so far so good. Now G is right on A, E, and F. So therefore, what we're going to do, and if we have a look a little bit further down, nothing else relies on E, but H relies on F. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a dummy arc maybe make it look a little bit more like a dummy so dash 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 there have it going that way so now g and we need to have a dummy coming over here so now g can go and that's reliant on A, E and F. If you have a look, A finishing is going to be this one here. E finishing is this one here and then F finishing is this dummy here. So that's G done. Now H is just reliant on F. So if we have H coming off here, that's not reliant on anything else. Because we've got the arrow going this way, it means that E doesn't have to finish. F just has to finish. Uh, now I is reliant on C, so let's finish off C. Let's get I going over there. H is I. Now J is reliant on D and G. So let's have D and G finish in. And then coming off there, we've got J. And also K is reliant on D and G finish in. So that's it, and that's it. And so now we've got to tie all of them up. Notice how it says exactly three dummies. So, so far we've got two dummies. So if we have it, then we're going into here. We've only got two dummies. But what we've got, if we have K and J both going into here, they're both starting from this activity here, and they're both going to this activity here. So what we're going to need to do is have a dummy there, and then have... So I have this dummy here, because otherwise J and K are starting at the same event and finishing at the same event. Um, you don't need to number them, but I sometimes number them one, two, and number them in order that we're doing it. But I don't think you need to for this one, so I wouldn't bother. And that is how you get the five marks for question two. And that's where you get the three dummy arcs from. Okay, thank you. Like, subscribe, and share.